According to the latest reports, the front runner to face Anthony Joshua in September is no longer Marius Wack, but it is in fact Scottish heavyweight Gary Cornish. Now, they obviously wanted the Dillian White fight, and I say obviously because to me it seems obvious the uh, Joshua team I'm talking about, they wanted the Dillian White fight for September, but White said that he weren't ready, he had a hand problem and whatnot. Some people are disputing that, some people are saying that the Joshua team, Eddie Hearn and whatnot, are pulling a fast one and Josh, uh, uh, Dillian White is actually ready. But I don't think so, because from reading Dillian White's Twitter, he, he tweeted Anthony Joshua and said something like, you and Eddie Hearn tried to set me up like you did your other opponent. You tried to set me up, which would imply, which would infer that Dillian White has a hand problem or isn't ready for whatever reason and feels as though Eddie Hearn and Joshua tried to get him while he weren't ready. So I actually believe the Joshua team in this particular instance, Eddie Hearn and Joshua, that the fight was offered to Dillian White and he didn't take it because whatever reason, he's injured his hand, he needs to recover, he needs some tune-up fights or whatever. So, yeah, that aside, Marius Wack doesn't seem to be the front runner at the moment it, it still could happen apparently but he's not the front runner Gary Cornish seems to be the front runner now if you haven't seen Gary Cornish fight he's a six foot seven unbeaten Scottish heavyweight type his name into YouTube and you'll see him from my perspective from what I can see Gary Cornish is not very talented he is a big guy he's relatively athletic but his footwork is all over the place he hasn't impressed me with his hand skills. He is quite mobile for a guy of that size, I will say that. But he seems to just be all over the place. There's no real rhyme or rhythm to what he does. Then again, fighters who are like that can actually be quite difficult to pin down in some instances. But my initial and gut feeling looking at Gary Cornish, I don't think that he's going to pose any serious threat to Anthony Joshua. I think Anthony Joshua will stop the guy. Unless the guy's got a great chin, like a Marius Wack type chin, which is possible. I don't think that he's going to pose Anthony Joshua many problems. I think there are guys out there with losses on their record who would be more dangerous and stiffer tests for Anthony Joshua than Gary Cornish. Just my opinion. I think even a Tony Thompson would be more difficult for Anthony Joshua at this stage than Gary Cornish. We'll see. Maybe Cornish will surprise me. Maybe he'll surprise a lot of people. But let me know what you think about this potential matchup. Anthony Joshua, Gary Cornish. Some people are saying, well, it's an unbeaten fighter. You can't really say nothing to that. He's unbeaten and he's big. He's the same size as Joshua, if not a little bit taller. So it's not a great matchup, but it's acceptable at this stage of Joshua's career. And I, I think it is acceptable. It's definitely not the matchup I wanted to see because I was excited by the Marius Wack fight. And a lot of people were saying the Marius Wack fight is actually too much too soon for Joshua. And that may be the case. But, uh, you know, Marius Wack obviously can punch. He's been in there with Klitschko. He's not guys clean out. We've seen it. Maybe it was a little too much too soon at this stage of Joshua's career. And Gary Cornish makes more sense. And the plan is, anyway, according to Eddie Hearn and Joshua, the plan is to fight Gary Cornish in September, as long as he comes through that, to then fight Dillian White in November, assuming Dillian White says he's ready by then. So we'll see what happens. Uh... I'm definitely obviously looking looking forward more to the Dillian White fight than the Gary Cornish fight. And by the way, Gary Cornish turned down a Dillian White fight. That fight has been offered to Gary Cornish, I believe, at least once. And I saw an interview of Gary Cornish's manager and he basically admitted that Dillian White is too dangerous. <laughs> That's the reason that Gary Cornish ain't fighting Dillian White. I certainly think that Dillian White is better than Gary Cornish. That's just my opinion. I could be wrong, but... Uh, you know, from what I've seen of both fighters, I think Dillian White is uh, quite a bit better than Gary Cornish. But let me know how you feel in the comment section below about this whole situation. Are you disappointed in hearing Gary Cornish is the front runner now? Or do you think it's understandable? Do you think that Marius Wack was a little bit too much too soon? Would you have preferred to see him in there with Tony Thompson maybe? Would Tony Thompson be too much too soon? Would he do a David Price on Anthony Joshua? I don't think so, but maybe some people do. Let me know how you feel in the comment section below. It's happening. I'm out.